This week, we get together to paint my earth bag bedroom walls, and Garen and Ellie finish their wood stove hearth project. Should we go check out the, what are we calling this thing? The, the fireplace? Slab. The fireplace slab? <laughs> or just the slab, I like that. Ooh. It dried a lot lighter than the original color, which is cool, it looks really cool. Yeah. It's like a sand color, isn't it? Yeah, it really is like a, a sand. It's got a couple cracks in it, it looks like, but I think they're patchable. So let's pull it off the frame and just kind of see what rigidity it has. And if it falls apart, then we'll start over. I guess so. <laughs> going to be treating these window seals. I thought since we whitewashed the ceiling, the natural wood look a, looks a little out of place now. So I asked Shay and I think I asked a bunch of people what they thought I should do for the window seals. If I should leave those regular wood colored or if I should go through them with a uh, white gloss. The consensus was go ahead and do the white. So what I'm doing is hitting it with a little bit of sandpaper, bolt the trim a little bit. It takes off we need the extra mud that we had on there so that it gives it a good finish. And then I'm gonna paint both these seals and the trim white. Just a pure gloss white that you would use for trim. Then we are going to be spray painting the wall. So uh, Shay and I are going to cut in with the blue so that's gonna be hopefully as easy as possible. That is the plan. All right. Should I take these off first and, and like this stuff for sure? Yeah, take the, the wood pieces off first and I think that should be all connecting it. Okay. I think it's pretty loose, this stuff. I think it, it really separated nicely. We should be able to pull it out no problem. It's probably gonna be a little stuck, I would imagine, because of the caulking that went around it. So oh, we'll probably have to like yeah. peel it up a little bit. I hope that it'll just kind of work it up maybe. Get that caulking on the stuff. All that falling off the edges was in the little cracks. I think we're safe. Ooh, that looks so cool. Should we try and like pivot the, uh, the slab? It does move. Does it pick up safely? Yeah, picks up safely. Hey, your oil hy or hydraulic fluid thing worked great. Oh yeah, it did. It didn't stick at all. That looks so cool. Yeah, it looks like a bread slice. <laughs> nice right, slice right. of bread. So this is gonna be the top, right? So. Yeah, unless, should we look? Ooh. Kind of cool looking. Oh, look at the piece of wood sticking. I think we should just try and sand the other side. Look at how much darker it is from the oil. So the oil does change the color, so that's good to note. Mm -hmm. You wanna get sand on this? And yeah. Go All right, Shay, you get in the front door painted? Yeah. The yellow that we picked was a little bit thin and what we wanted to cover was pretty dark. We hit the doors with just a layer of white because we had a little bit extra of that left and then we hit it with the yellow. After. That really helped. Mm -hmm. That helped us get to the solid point on them uh, much quicker. So far, we've got everything all cut in. Bri, you were up there. You got all the tops done and the bottoms. Dad as well got in there. We had all the cutting done in like a few hours. And then we were all ready. Garen and Ellie showed up, which was awesome. They came Came in to help us finish the project. Ooh. Ooh, I love the color, Brady. Yeah, that's an awesome color. <laughs> it's bright and cheery without being too, too sky intense. blue. It's yeah. like its own color, you know? Yeah. What I do you think of it? I love it. Mom, she called, she's like, you didn't get too dark, did you? And then I was like, oh no, did oh, I get no. too dark? You know how that gets. But then we poured it on there and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this color. And, and I think that that yellow looks okay with it too. So yeah, it looks really good. It makes the whitewashed palette ceiling really cool. It oh, does. I think so too. Very um, cool. So excited about it. Nice pick. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I think everything's all chunked in. And then yeah. we just gotta, sh 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 we should be done. We could be done in 10 minutes. It's gonna be fast. Yeah. You guys have been busy. Zelly was all ready to cut in. Oh, she was all ready to go. It really only took us like an hour or two to cut in. I mean, it was a while, but it, it didn't take too goes long, fast, I think. Hopefully we don't overspread too much. Well, I just figure you can just err on the side of no, we should a good chunk of cardboard no, then. Cut. Maybe me and Bryson again. One of us on cardboard, okay. one of us on another one. one of, okay, two and two, I love it. Cool. Right on. Let's do it. Let's get started. Get a little water, because we're going to wet sand the top so that it's all smooth, kind of like we did on the countertop. All right.
Maybe low speed for starts? I'll do four. It's kind of an experiment. We don't really know how wet it's supposed to be, so. Whoa. It's like sizzling. Soaking in. So then just stand? I think so. I think you just kind of okay. see what happens. I think I'm gonna try this thing out. All of our sanding discs for the sander, but we start at like 800. Um, I forgot to grab a few that I think dad had that were the rougher grits. So it'll take forever to do that 800 it's looking like. What I'm thinking is we can try like this kind of a sanding wheel out on one of these and then go behind it with the 800 grit after that. Here, you know, <laughs> ignore that. <laughs> Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, so I think if we do that, and then we hit with those, I think it's gonna turn out really good. Nice. Hey! Hey, it's going good. Hola. Hi, sugar. Who's that? Fun fact, the paint sprayer that we used is actually powered by a light switch. The on and off. Well, everything's on powered by a light yeah, switch. I mean, is there you, anything new? If you followed us- The camera's got a light switch. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> if you followed us any length of time, you might have caught on that we love to add light switches to just about everything. Like light switches that fit in your home yeah. on the wall, mm -hmm. like those light switches. Yeah, I know we talked about it on our podcast. So if you missed that, it was the podcast that came out on Monday. Here, turn one of these upside down when the lid wasn't on all the way. Nope. No. <laughs> Man, you got yourself some quality paint there. The top is pretty good. It got really smooth. The edges are a little different. Like, I don't know if you can see, like, they're just kind of rough looking. I think we're gonna leave it the rough looking. So I'm just gonna hit these corners so that they're not sharp and you don't cut your feet or hands or whatever. <laughs> Someone decided to wake up. Huh? Get up from your nap. Get a good nap. Yeah? It's gonna wake up a little bit, so. All right, kid, let's get you out of the spray zone. Get the power cords out of the way and start rinsing this baby off. Oh, it's looking really cool. Look at how red it is. Yeah. Should we wipe it down with a towel? Yeah. A junk towel? Yeah. Hey, hey, are you doing? <laughs> Good push-ups. For how little we did on this thing like we didn't come back and smooth it after it's been sitting for a little bit which i think is what we were supposed to do it actually turned out all right it's just a centerpiece in our house it's no big deal yeah i think i didn't catch that so i got the bed we're gonna move it into the sun and kind of get it to dry and i want to glue some sort of material on the bottom of it to keep it from scratching our new floor <laughs> it's just a slice of bread baby <laughs> a small hernia. No big deal. Upside down. Get a slice of something glued on the bottom. Like a slice of meat? <laughs> yeah. Just need the other piece of bread and we'll have a sandwich. Probably put a little mayonnaise down. <laughs> oh, sounds delicious. Mmm. Got some vapor barrier. Had to go find it in our pile of stuff. <laughs> Lovely. I think it's gonna be a good size though. Yeah, it's gonna be perfect. Throw some uh, liquid nails down. AKA mayonnaise. Time for a nice little drizzle of mayonnaise. Eventually. Mmm, that's delicious. It does sound good, doesn't it? All right, now for the tedious job. Time to cut the excess with this really, I mean, this is a quality knife here. Okay, that'll work. Get it gonna be stretched a little tighter. Oh. 
<laughs> hit the floor. Bryce did it first. <laughs> no, no. Okay. He did the whole thing. I think I should be able to sand it out. It sounds jokingly, fair, but Bryson I think I actually can. With that one. That was the paintbrush <laughs> on the ground. I did not knock it over. And then he went with this one here. What? That's barely an overspray. Look at that. Look at that. All right, we'll do it right. Sorry. Yeah. Is it spray painting when we do it like that, or is it spray painting when you take it out of a can? Well, you're still spraying paint in either way, right? It's true. <laughs> true. I'm bragging about being all done with all the trim and everything, and we failed to see the elephant in the room. But Ellie, because she's so fabulously fantastic, she's, uh, Sorry. she's making it work. <laughs> Bryson over here is also. I painted me. this much. Ellie has painted that much. You yeah. can clearly see who the better it's painter is. Easy. It's so clearly me. <laughs> not that it's a competition. I don't want to brag or nothing. Ellie and Bryson got in there to finish up some parts that we missed. We thought we had done everything. But we uh, did. you two went in there and finished it up. You guys were awesome. And the little trim around the outside. Yeah. She painted like the whole door. I painted my little section. Yeah. <laughs> She's fast. <laughs> all right, I think we're gonna move the fireplace over to the sliding glass door. Get it all ready to go in. That way we can give the liquid nails a little bit of time to dry before we... That's good. For the for the beast. Beep, 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 beep. Thanks, Diesel. Oh, I'm so glad we're getting all our heat set up, you know. Because it's about to get the spring here and shoot. We're pretty used to the 90s now, so we need to crank that thing up. Or not spring, fall, yeah. sorry. <laughs> fall. Fall. I, I promise I know these things. Okay. We ready to go get the slab, the slice of bread, and then we can build our sandwich. I think I'm gonna put this piece of lovely towel down. Uh, 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 uh. Just in case. Uh, you hoping? Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. This guy over there. Yeah. If this is just one slice of the loaf, I'd hate to carry the loaf. <laughs> I think we would need some reinforcements. I think we'd need the skid steer. <laughs> took us about 10 minutes to complete that room with the spray. So it was super fast. So fast. It's so impressive. Yeah. Especially when Gary's doing it, he's just like Yeah, he's pretty good with he's that. He's really good so. with it. The last melon. Nice! Woo! Wow, it looks really nice in here. I could not be more pleased with this. It is so cool. You know, you always run a little bit of a risk when you get colors and then you have second thoughts. I, maybe you don't, but I do. I'm like, oh my gosh, maybe it's too dark. But on the walls, it just looks fantastic in here. The smooth walls are a huge step up from the rough that was there previously, so that was definitely worth the time. The paint, oh my gosh, it all came together so well. Thank you for all your help. It was amazing. You guys are awesome. Bye. We'll see ya. Bye. Thank you so much, Garen and Ellie, for coming out and helping us. I am so pleased with it. I could not be more happy. I love the color choices. It's a complete brie room. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, I woke up this morning. I'm like, ah, oh, it looks so great in here. So I'm very pleased with it. Thank you guys. I awesome. love it.
I guess I should have done that first. That would have made more sense. All clean now. What do you think? What do you think, kid? Oh, it looks so good, doesn't it? I think so. I think it it's awesome. perfect. We were kind of going for something, you know, simple, a little bit rustic, and no gravel. <laughs> it's also really fun to have the fireplace in here again. It yeah, like it filled is. the room out nicely. That's awesome. It's all cozy in here now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, that wraps up this week. We've got a little bit more to do on my room. I've got lots of little projects that I want to do in that room. And of course, we got to get that floor all cleaned up and stuff as well. So we've got more for you on that project. Because of the nature of Garen and Ellie's project, we thought the perfect design to feature this week would be our Break the Mold design. If you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, apron, or any of the other products that we have over in the shop, as well as all of the other designs that we offer, the link will be down in the description. We have a 15% off of everything sale going on now through Sunday. So if you'd like to take advantage of that, it's out there for ya. If you missed Wednesday's video, Bryson and I popped and reviewed some sprouted popcorn. So if you'd like to check that out, the link will be down in the description. We really appreciate you being a part of our family and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday for that podcast. Bye. Thank you. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us on this journey. I don't know why I'm wrapping up. I'll just naturally wrap up. I think that's all I want to say, Dad. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. <laughs> a recipe for a disaster right here. <laughs>